The slick Rick the Buker, but I'll choke. Which L.A. team are you more confident in? My Clippers or your Lakers? It's easy. It's the Lakers. Without any bias, there's really not an argument. There's really not a discussion here. The Lakers historically, recent history, are better. The Lakers present right now history are better. Marcellus, the Lakers haven't had Anthony Davis in what, a month and some change now? Yeah. They still got a better rake record than the Clippers. Marcellus, with Anthony Davis present, the Lakers still had a far better record than the Clippers. The Clippers were supposed to be that team last year, but Doc Rivers was a problem. Wait a second. Get rid of Doc Rivers. He out there balling on the East now. And the Clippers still out here trying to figure things out. No, no, no. I I'm not confident in the combination of PG. I'm not confident in the combination of Kawhi with PG. I'm also looking at it like this. The Clippers are 10 and 10 since February 4th. They've, last four of their la they've lost four out of their last six, but the Lakers have won four out of their last six. So if I'm doing my math correctly, the Lakers are finally starting to figure things out a little bit without oh. AD, and AD is still coming back. Hmm. Meanwhile, the Clippers, what's their excuse? No, the, the Lakers I'm absolutely more confident in, always have been, always will be, as long as LeBron James is there. Hmm. I'm with you on this, Acho, and for much of the same reasons, uh, look, the Clippers came into this season with something to prove, mm -hmm. didn't they? Because they were supposed to be the team last year, and they didn't come through in the bubble. The biggest difference for me, and I could get into the weeds when it comes to uh, defense and, and whatnot, and I will mm -hmm. in a second, but sure. the big difference for me is leadership. Uh, we know what the Lakers are capable of. We know that LeBron James can get the most out of the pieces around him. But Kawhi Leonard last year was not as good as he was in Toronto the year before when he won a championship. And this year he hasn't been even as good as he was last year. Defensively, he is playing the worst defense that he has in his career outside of those nine games when he was hurt in his last year in San Antonio. And where do they need leadership the most? At the defensive end. That's ultimately where they're 15th right now. They were sixth last year during the regular season. Then the shutdown came. They were eighth among the 16, 16 teams, mediocre in the bubble. Where have they gone since then? They're 15th this year in defensive efficiency. Meanwhile, the Lakers, who have nothing to prove, we know how good they can play, are number one in defensive efficiency and really comes down to effort, and attention to detail. And I'm just seeing too little of it from the Clippers and who's going to hold them accountable for it. <laughs> Maybe we blame that on Doc Rivers for not doing it. Well, bottom line is it's got to come from the locker room, and it still hasn't. Man, y'all need to get y'all eyes checked. I did get a LASIK surgery maybe five years or so. I, I have 25 vision. That means I can see everything y'all can see, plus some, because y'all looking at the wrong things. Me and my boys used to have these little conversations. Y'all know it's the Clippers, right? Uh, we had these conversations. We used to go to the club, and, and we used to always joke around, you know. We say, boy, we ain't going to never have a fight in the club because we are looking for different things. And what I'm looking for in my team is something different than y'all looking for in your team. Y'all telling me about best records and telling me who has a better record. Um, let's see. Who had the best record last year and did they win the championship? Nope. Oh, let's see. Let's go to the year before. Did that work? Nope. Oh, okay. Forget about that. Oh, now you want to go to this. Uh, you know what the Lakers are capable of. Do you? Are you using last year as your measurement? Because last year they had a five-month break in a bubble. That's not going to happen this year. So when you talk about a 36-year-old superstar king goat, and then you talk about AD and his injury concerns his entire career, and certainly in present day, what's going to save the day in terms of that interruption, that break that they used and took advantage of last year? Nothing. Okay, so now I'm looking in the kitchen at the oven because I'm a slow baker. Y'all at the microwave fighting and elbowing each other. Talking about, I can see it. I can see it. It's almost done. Ding, ding, ding. And here's the problem. You're not looking at what the Clippers are doing. They're slowly baking this thing the right way. The subtle things, the boring things, the little things. Number one team in the NBA in free throw percentage, uh, the free money, <laughs> Clippers. Number one team at the three-point line, <laughs> the big money, Clippers. That's all that matters right now. We know Kawhi Leonard, and we know that the war attrition would hurt the Lakers and help a collective squad like the Clippers. So when we at the club, don't worry. It's all on me. 
because it's all going to end happily if you bet with me and my Clippers. The problem is, though, Sel, at what point in time with these new age, new era of Clippers have you ever seen continuity? You say we're looking for different things. Yeah. I'm looking for things that are sustainable. I'm looking for leadership. Oh. I'm looking for clutch ability. Oh. Like, I don't know what you're looking for. I don't know what you're looking for in the club, but I'm looking for something that you can actually be married to when it comes down to success. Mm. You're just looking for something to, I don't know, take home real quick. It's but your boy. But that's neither here <laughs> it's your nor boy. Hey. Hey. I'm down, sir. I, I, I know. I was, I'm down. I ain't Lock been in the club in a long time either. Lock back in. <laughs> okay, I'm back in. Thank you. I'm sorry. Um, look, I'm going to get back to the point. Hey, Kawhi Leonard club. said this. So he said, if we want to have a chance at anything, you got to be consistent. He said it's all about consistency. Yeah. The players, the team, the coach, collectively. If Kawhi Leonard, the one dude who don't ever say nothing, especially nothing disparaging, is out here talking about, man, we got to be consistent if we want to be great. If he's calling it out, Marcellus Wiley, if he sees it, and they've never been consistent. You just out here hoping and hoping and hoping and hoping on a prayer. I'm actually looking at things that are substantive that we've actually seen in the past, and the Lakers have shown us that. Clippers never have. In the past? What the hell are you lying for? In the past, the Lakers, when they didn't have AD, which they don't have right now, well, uh, how did that work out for the King? Got injured trying to put the entire team on his back and didn't make the playoffs. Oh, they get AD. Small and Small sample size. Well, oh, small. here's a smaller sample size. Last year. Because <laughs> you played the season. If coach came up to you, Slick, you play basketball, said, 10 gases right now. And then on the seventh one, when you're really starting to feel that lactic acid, he's like, all right, go home. And come back and give you the other three. Isn't that a lot easier and a lot different than all 10 at the same time? That's going to be the small sample size of this year. And trust me, that's going to add up against these Lakers who are trying to do it without AD. And what are they trying to do? I don't know. It doesn't look too good. 20th in the NBA in points per game, 23rd in three-point percentage. That's today's game. you got to light up the scoreboard. So keep talking about small sample sizes. Keep talking about the Clippers. And keep talking about how AD's going to come back and save the day. You better hope and pray, because if he doesn't, we know what happens to these Lakers without AD. You keep cherry picking these offensive numbers, free throw percentage and free money. points scored and all free that points. stuff. What I care about is what do they do in winning time? Uh. What do they do when they need to close? Well, let me have a full screen. Let's take a oh, look at what oh, happens in oh. the last five he mad, minutes mad. He mad, when mad. we compare the Lakers versus the Clippers. Now, look at that first one. That first one, tied or trailing. The Clippers, when they are behind by five in the last five minutes, they almost never come back and win. But what's even more disturbing is they can be ahead by five in the last five minutes, and it's still not a guarantee. And may I remind you, this is a Lakers team that has already demonstrated, look, we don't need a seeding. We don't need to prove anything. We're the defending champions. We just need to be right and healthy at the end of the year, and we can close. The Clippers are the ones who have to, dece uh, to, to, to prove that their gap job against the Denver Nuggets last year, when they gave up those leads time after time after time, that they're no longer that, that they have the steely reserve to get it done. <laughs> They have to prove that, and yet they are not. Hey! What is this? We got. Oh, my. We saw you over there stuttering. We wish you the day. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Slick. Happy hey, birthday. Somebody, what? hey, be careful. We got. We got a smoke alarm that's going to go off in here. We didn't need to have to put all the candles on there. Oh, we didn't want to age you, but we had to Thank put a couple. Thank you very you better much. Make a wish. Yeah, you better make, make a, a wish. wish and blow them out. Yeah, I, okay. Oh, I'm going to make this wish for Marcellus. You know what it is. <laughs> Clipper, please. Clipper, I know. Oh, much love to That's you. That's right. And thanks to your wife for coming in with the cameo and the cake. And your wife is gunned up. I, you don't think I saw the muscles. Tell her to keep it going. Oh, happy birthday, brother.